One company is on a mission to put a million people to work each year. Sounds like a big number, doesn't it? Not to express employment professionals. Maybe you're a skilled welder. Or you're an expert in logistics and distribution. We take pride in connecting the right people with the right company. Let us help. We'll open doors for you. Express is on a mission to put a million people to work each year. I'm Christy Skojak Taylor. I own Express Employment Professionals here in Rocky Mount, and I'm here with Jean Almond. Mm -hmm. And Jean, tell everybody where we are this afternoon. I would love to. We're in the Gateway Technology Center here on the beautiful campus of North Carolina Wesleyan College. Lots of stuff going on here, Christy. Very consistent with what what we're going to be talking about. They train people for jobs. It's a, a collaboration with Wesleyan, North Carolina State, East Carolina, and Fayetteville State university they've got master's levels programs here and they do business entrepreneurial work here so as we talk about jobs and the wonderful jobs already available in the area this is where a lot of people come to get trained absolutely absolutely and i actually graduated from wesleyan i don't want to say how many years ago i graduated from wesleyan um, but i love to be able to come back here and see the building and the growth that has happened with the school here and it's just really exciting to see what we're able to do to educate people in this area so that they can get jobs and they have the, a lot of little kids entrepreneurial things here too i mean this this center is used for a lot of activities in the community um, if you ever have a need for something along the business line, call them and see if that might be something that they would allow you to come out here and use. And Christy, we would be remiss if we didn't mention our community colleges too. Absolutely. The, the, I love the um, Twin County um, emphasis on saying, you know, we're a great place to live from the visioning because a lot of what they talk about too is all the educational opportunities here. And they fe feed right into what you're seeing as far as jobs, jobs now, future jobs. and. This program was, was your brainchild. Um, you and Bobby Booth sat down mm -hmm, and talked about a great program that would really be interesting to everybody on WHIG, but also that would enable us to really feature local businesses doing great things. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. It kind of came about, Bobby came to talk to me and we were talking just about jobs in the area and she said, Christy, I hear there are no jobs. Mm -hmm. And I said, Bobby, I have 500 people working for me today. 500 people are working for Express Employment Professionals. You can't tell me there's no jobs. You cannot tell me that. Um, right now, I have to interview 60 people a week in order to be able to fill the positions open that I have open. Um, there's some reasons why there's difficulties with that. Mm -hmm. um, the community colleges are able to help us with a lot of those. Mm -hmm. um, the career readiness certificate that a lot of companies are requiring now is something that's offered by um, both of the community colleges. What um, is that? Tell us a little bit more about that. Basically, and I have a staff member who handles most of it, so maybe uh -huh. we'll have her on one day. Um, okay. But it, it is a computerized or a paper test and it tests um, their math skills, their reading skills, reading for information, locating information, um, and then they can get either a silver or a bronze or a gold mm -hmm. on those depending on how they pass the tests. Um, and one of the companies that we deal with, unless you pass a silver, unless you get a silver on that test, mm -hmm. I can't put you to work at that company. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't get a silver, then the community colleges will help you work through those. And they're basic work skills that the companies in the area feel like they have a need for. Mm -hmm. So that's something that the community colleges have to offer. But as an employer who has used some of your head hired, has, that you've helped me find people in the past and, and they've been excellent employees, it helps me tremendously to have you ferret out that information so I don't have to, to do, you also test them for various levels of what substances and whatnot. So I know that when um, criminal background check, all the checks that people, companies would have to pay for themselves, you already do that before they are hired, right? We do, we do do that. And that's, mostly it's the industrial companies who look for the career readiness certificate, mm -hmm. um, retail companies, 
smaller companies tend not to look for that as much as they look for um, they look for good people mm -hmm. to go to work. And my staff, everybody who works there, I think the shortest person has been seven years. Mm -hmm. So they are very well versed in interviewing people. Mm -hmm. um, we may get applications online from 160 people a week. Mm -hmm. We look through those applications. If the work history isn't what our clients look for, um, if you've worked a month there, two months there, you got fired from every job, mm -hmm. you know, things like that show us that you're not an express candidate. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you're not good for a job. It just means I can't take you and put you to work at Almond's Drugs mm -hmm. because Almond's Drugs expect more than that from mm -hmm. me. Um, if we bring someone in to see us, one of our staffing consultants um, takes them through a pretty pretty long interview mm -hmm. where they talk about what they've done, what they want to do, um, ask about what type of um, what's their greatest accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And a lot of staffing services probably don't ask that question, mm -hmm. but that's mm -hmm. something that you need to know. Mm -hmm. As an employer, you want to know what their greatest accomplishment is. Mm -hmm. And um, it tells their, their goals and their, you know, their thoughts about what's important in life too. Right, right. It shows that they have goals mm -hmm. set up in life. Um, what about the soft skills though, Christy? As an employer, you know, being on time, being polite, things like that, are those things that you assess also? We do. Um, one of the ways we assess that is by looking at their employment history. Mm -hmm. um, we can tell by looking at their employment history if they have some of those soft skills. Mm -hmm. um, we can tell by how they interview with my staff mm -hmm. if they have those soft skills. Mm -hmm. We can tell if they're walking down the hallway to interview with somebody and they're not wearing a belt and Christy being the owner can see half of their underwear mm -hmm. that they don't have the soft skills. Mm -hmm. And as embarrassing as that sounds, um, there was actually a young man walking down the hallway and I, literally I saw at least half of his underwear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I sat down at my desk and I typed his, his interviewer a note and I said, mm -hmm. you're not putting him to work. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to do that mm -hmm. unless you can convince him that he needs to wear a belt. He's not working for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and, and it, like you said, it would fall right back to you. I've often used the, the phrase, we are in the business of not insulting any customers for any reason or making them do a double take for any reason. Right. When you're on the job, you're customer oriented or you're work oriented and that should be your focus. Absolutely. And then as far back as soft skills, um, unfortunately a lot of, and I'll say kids, 18, 19, 20 year olds, they're not learning them anymore. And I don't know if it's not getting taught at schools or if it's not getting taught by parents, but they don't know you need to be at work on time. Mm -hmm. If you're supposed to be at work at seven o'clock, you go to work at 10 minutes to seven. Mm -hmm. um, one of our client companies, the plant manager, if he walks by you, he expects that you better look at him mm -hmm. and say hello. It seems kind of like a silly thing, but that's important to him. And if he's seeing that you're not doing that, mm -hmm. it's going to be something that, that he takes notice of mm -hmm. and will say something to me about. Um, people, they just don't seem to, you know, the soft skills that, that you and I and other people know, they just don't, they don't understand mm -hmm. what, what it is. Um, we had somebody interviewed today and his job was painting. So my staff and consultant said, well, tell me what you did at XYZ Company. Mm -hmm. Well, I painted. Can't you see I wrote that down on that piece of paper? Oh, dear. <laughs> Gosh. Wrong answer. And, but that is what people just, nobody's ever taught them. And yeah. I, I hate to make an excuse for uh -huh. them. But um, as far as soft skills, if people don't have them, mm -hmm. but we see an, an opportunity and a, and a something in them that's mm -hmm. going to be good. We work with them on those soft Great. skills. Um, that's what I was hoping you'd say, yeah. Christy, because that's so important. I mean, he might be a fantastic mm -hmm. painter. He might tremendously need the job, need the money. Um, no telling whom he's supporting or how he's helping yep. a family. Um, so I'm glad that you do take it if you do see yep. the possibility that you go ahead and try and help. Um, a good friend of mine said, unless you are in somebody else's shoes, you don't mm -hmm. know what their background is to know what opportunities in training they did or did not have. Yeah. So I'm glad you, you look past that to see if the person is somebody who could be a good employee. We do. And they, um, we actually, my um, staffing consultants go to um, my sister's house mm -hmm. and help, help teach learning skills there. Um, we've been to pretty much anybody, the OIC, mm -hmm. we do um, 
soft skills for them. Pretty much anybody who calls us mm -hmm. and says, hey, we have this organization that needs help with soft skills. Mm -hmm. Do you have somebody who can come and help us with it? Um, I've got four or five people who are happy to get out there and do that. Um, mm -hmm. my, my girls, um, they love putting to work. I mean, that's their passion is putting people to work. But another passion is helping people, and they know by by teaching those skills that they're going to make that they're going to make somebody else and help make them more successful. So it just is one of it's really important, and some people may never learn them, but there are a lot of people who do, and it's great when we have people who we um, have worked with to get those soft skills, and we run into them somewhere where their mom calls me and says, "Thank you." Mm -hmm. I have a job. I could buy my child Christmas mm -hmm. for the first time this year. So stuff like that is really cool. When I have seen through the years that y'all celebrate the number of people you have employed in the area, that, that's taken very personally by all of y'all. And as we go through this show, and it'll be a weekly show, it, it will be fun for people because we're going to celebrate the local businesses but yes. and um, profile the good work they're doing and the jobs that they're creating in the, in the community. But also, we're gonna to talk to the owners and talk to the people who are working in these companies and find out what their needs are going forward, right? Absolutely. And they will share with us the, the types of job training, the type of soft skills, kind of the whole gamut. And hopefully, maybe somebody watching will be one of those who will get a job. Absolutely. Out of doing this. Great, well, let's take a break. We'll come back and okay. talk more about that. Great. Finding the right employee can be demanding. From recruiting to interviews, Express Employment Professionals does the work for you. We get to know your business and who you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for skilled labor. Maybe you need a new executive to join your team. Find qualified people and support using Express for all of your staffing needs. Let us help. We'll open doors for you. Express is on a mission to put a million people to work each year. Hi, welcome back to Business Real on WHIG TV. We're going to be on every Tuesday at 8.30. Again, I'm Christy Skojak Taylor. I own Express Employment Professionals, and I'd like to welcome my, my good friend. <laughs> Absolutely, Jean Almond. Um, what we're really hoping that you get out of this and get excited like we are, because I'm kind of learning as we go here, there are jobs in this, in this area, and a lot of people don't realize the availability course you do, because being as Express Employment Professionals, you see companies coming to you and say, I need somebody for this and I need somebody for that. But we really want those who want to go to work to be able to go to work. And Absolutely. we want the companies to say, oh, I'm in Rocky Mount, and I've got a full staff because I have well-trained people who come to work and they do a good job and whatnot. So we're hoping by shining the light on this that right. it will inspire people and, and share knowledge with them about how they can get more involved. Absolutely, absolutely. I will say I was talking to a friend of mine earlier mm -hmm. um, and he was kind of whispering at me what he wanted me to say. Um, several years ago when they were moving the Sam's Club to this area, mm -hmm. Everybody heard the manager standing on the street corner yelling about the people in Rocky Mount not being able to pass drug tests. Mm -hmm. I was angry. Rocky Mount is my town. I love Rocky Mount. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe anybody would say anything about that mm -hmm. in Rocky Mount. I had been in business for 15 years. I mean, I, anybody who would listen to me, mm -hmm. I would yell. Um, in the last five years, I wouldn't say he's right. But he's leaning towards being right. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing that I would just, if you're coming looking for a job, mm -hmm. you can go to all of the community colleges you want to. You can have every single skill known to man. But if you can't pass a drug test, mm -hmm. companies in this era, in this time, they are not going to hire you. So please make sure, and we're going to talk a lot about the different companies who are looking for people and the different programs that are available at all the different community colleges, um, Nash County, Edgecombe County, hopefully Halifax County, hopefully Wilson County, mm -hmm. get an idea of the programs that they have. Mm -hmm. But again, that knowledge is great, but if you mm -hmm. use drugs, 
you're going to sit at home. You're not going to have a job. Well, why would they hire somebody who's already breaking the law? And, and um, there are certain perceptions which are accurate, I believe, that if people are impaired, they're not going to perform and could hurt somebody and then their liability issues and whatnot. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of an either or thing. If you want a job, you stay clean. Yeah, it is. And I actually have had that argument with my husband because mm -hmm. marijuana, if you smoke it, you're probably not going to be impaired when you come to work. Mm -hmm. But he said, Christy, you're breaking the law. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a law whether you like it, whether you don't like it, no matter what you think, it's a law. And if you're going to break a law about something like that, how do I know that you're not going to break a law having to do with something with mm -hmm. my job? So, And that stays in a person's blood for a while and urine too, for a, doesn't, it, doesn't it show up for a while even? So if somebody thinks they're being smart and waiting a day or so after the weekend to go and get tested, there's still things that show up. There's probably more of a lab question than a mm -hmm. Christie question. Okay. Um, but <laughs> I, over the years, I've learned that marijuana stays close to 30 days. Mm -hmm. I, I think um, the harder drugs, they are in and out of your system a little bit longer. But again, that's a lab question. <laughs> that's yeah, not a Christie question. But just don't do it. Law. If you want a yeah. job, if you really, really, really want a job, mm -hmm. don't do it. Absolutely. Let's talk about the variety of businesses we'll be going into to talk to people and, and learn about their companies. Okay. Um, and I've talked to Bobby a little bit about this. We're still working out the details of some of the companies that we're going to be going to see. Mm -hmm. um, I know that one of them um, does it's a lot of metal work. Mm -hmm. It's welding. Um, it's pipe fitting. Um, it's CNC. Um, which a lot of people have not heard of, and I meant to look it up for a, a better explanation, and I did not do that yet, but I will have that um, next time. Actually, this morning on the news, I saw a CNC. It's Computer Numerical Controlled Machine. And, machine. And, yeah, you're trained on it. Did you see it uh -huh. cutting a pumpkin? I didn't, but I've heard of CNC machines. Yeah, it was on the machine. It was cutting a pumpkin, oh, so great. I thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got one company that we know is going to need that and just extensive welding experience. Mm -hmm. um, lots of companies we deal with need forklift experience. Mm -hmm. um, I will be very curious because I don't know if the community colleges offer a forklift training or not, um, because we've actually talked about doing that with some of our employees. Mm -hmm. um, we've got probably 10 jobs that if I could get forklift operators, I could put them to work. So, Do, do many people do on-the-job training, or do they want the people, to, the employees to come already trained? Most companies want the people to come already trained, um, okay. because they just don't have the time mm -hmm. to teach them how to do that. However, companies do have to do their own certification. If I was... Um, certified at XYZ company and I left and I went to ABC company, I'd have to get my certification mm -hmm. at the other company. So it doesn't move, but the knowledge moves moves mm -hmm. with you. Um, the robotics, we'll be learning about some of, of that um, right. with, with NASH. Um, I believe hopefully they may be able to learn some nursing mm -hmm. or go into um, Edgecombe Community College and learn some about the nursing programs that well, they do. And NASH has it too, and of course okay. with Edgecombe Community College putting that wonderful health sciences building mm -hmm. in downtown. Yeah. But there are always going to be needs for health care. I mean, the, when you look at mm -hmm. the aging population and just um, I hear all the time that there are nursing shortages now, so it'll be interesting to learn that we do have facilities locally that are training them, and I think a lot of their students even go in and do internships while they're students, so, but that'll be wonderful to learn about those. Are most of the companies we'll be visiting fairly large or all sizes, Christy? I think it's going to be kind of all sizes. Good. Um, we're going to go out and talk to the different companies and just kind of get a feel for, for where they are and what they're looking for. One thing I did not mention was um, Bridgestone Firestone. Mm -hmm. They have a tire class that you have to take to go to work there. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it's at Edgecombe and at Wilson. And you have to take this whole in-depth class about working with tires before they'll even consider hiring you. Mm -hmm. So we've got a company that there's a two-week class that you have to take that two-week class before we can put them at work at that company and that's working with circuit boards and things like that. So and those are people who want jobs enough they're willing to take that class mm -hmm. and then wait for me to get the call that they need them. So without there being a guaranteed position they'll mm -hmm. take it. I heard they pay pretty well too though, mm -hmm. right? Yep, they benefits. do and they're, they're a great company, very good benefits after you've been there a certain amount of time. They pay for your, um, they pay for your schooling 
and different things okay. like that. So we've got a lot of companies in the area mm -hmm. who take very good care of their employees. Mm -hmm. And I've been interested, and we've been doing some flu clinics, and I, we get called and somebody will say, I really want to protect my employees. You know, come in, we've got 12 people, and we'll line them up and we'll get them all protected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> said, you know, what a great employer you are. So we do have, like you said, great people who are looking for employees right now mm -hmm. that we need to, to bring shine the light on. So if you know of somebody, I think parents, you might be looking at a kid who came home and you want to help encourage the child mm -hmm. to get trained and get out. Um, and get a job. What about ages? What are there ages under which employers don't normally look to hire somebody? We have to place people 18 or older, and that's just because of our insurance and bonding and things like that. Mm -hmm. I would tell you we've placed people from 18 probably to about 87. Great. Or 88. Yep. It is just it's so exciting to me to have people who have come in who are retired mm -hmm. and they're just kind of bored mm -hmm. and they just want something to do and so to do that and lots of times I'll have elderly people come in and go, well I'm 62, you're not going to hire me. And I'm like, I am going to hire you because you know work ethic. Yeah. Um, and that's what most companies, they don't, I mean, they don't really care as long as you mm -hmm. can do the job, it doesn't matter to them. The age you or how may old you have are. just reached somebody with that, Christy. That you know, you, somebody might be saying, "Well, you know, I really want to do something, and I've this retirement stuff is for the birds. I want yep. to go get this." I just saw the movie um, Intern with I want Robert to see De Niro. That. Mm -hmm. It is wonderful. But his wife died, and he was retired, and he decided that he was going to be an intern. And boy, if it doesn't show the value of years of experience that what they can bring to to young people who lack experience. It's not that they don't know how to do stuff and whatnot, but there's something to be said for experience yep. and sharing that with others. So we will actually each week take on another company? Yes, that's the plan. And what if people watch and think, gosh, I sure would like Christy to come in and, and you know show what I'm doing because I have needs and whatnot. Can people call you? Yep, they can call me at, at my office, which is mm -hmm. the 443-1199, or they can call Bobby at the station um, and I'm not sure of that number off four, the top. Four four six six one six one. Okay. And so, talk to Bobby Booth. Yeah. And she can line you up. But uh, we will go in. We will take a cameraman. We will not show anything they don't want to show, yes. which I think is important. But also let you know what's going on. I see a lot of names as I drive down the highway, mm -hmm. and think I wonder what they do. <clears throat> or somebody will call and say, you know, like I said, we want flu shots, and then I'll look them up. I'll yep. see if they have a website and try and figure out because. The more we know about the community, the more we can be like Christy and say, I love Rocky Mount and your Rocky Mount Proud postings on Facebook nightly. Um, <laughs> we need to celebrate that we have a wonderful community. We do. And you need to go buy steel toed <laughs> shoes, my friend. Oh, <laughs> what about a hard hat? Will they give them to they us? They might. I've go? got hard hats, but I don't have steel toed shoes for you. So oh, okay. you may very well need steel toed shoes for some of the companies we go to. Super. All right. With pleasure. I will do that. So 830 mm -hmm. every Tuesday yes. and we will profile a different company. Okay. Very good. Super. Good. Thank you. Thank we'll you. See you next week. One company is on a mission to put a million people to work each year. Sounds like a big number, doesn't it? Not to express employment professionals. Maybe you're a skilled welder. Or you're an expert in logistics and distribution. We take pride in connecting the right people with the right company. Let us help. We'll open doors for you. Express is on a mission to put a million people to work each year.